Hi, welcome to Karina's Cupcakes Couture Cake School. Today I'm going to show you how to create the perfect ruffle rose. Probably one of the things that we're most well known for at Karina's Cupcakes. The tools and materials we're going to use for this technique are the Garrett Frill Cutter, the water pen, the bulbous cone tool, a little corn flour. We'll need some treated fondant or sugar paste. I've got a nice lemon colour here. We need a non-stick work board and a pizza wheel. So what we're going to do is show you the demonstration for the ruffle rose. There are a few tips and techniques to making sure that your ruffle roses are perfect. The very first one is to make sure that you don't roll your fondant too thinly. So we only want to go down to a pound coin thickness. And for most of us, the golden rule of sugar craft is that we don't want to have big thick butterflies and chunky flowers, so we roll very finely. For frills, the principles work slightly differently. If your fondant's too thin to start off with, you won't be able to get that stretch um, and gather that you get on the beautiful deep frills for the ruffle rose. This is the thickness that you want to go to, and definitely no thinner than this. If it's any thinner, you just won't have that stretch available to you. This is a Garrett frill cutter. It has numerous little parts that go on the inside of it to adjust the depth of your frills. For the ruffle rose, we always go with the largest of the centres. We position this Garrett frill cutter on top of the fondant and you can see that I've got just enough fondant to fill it. I apply an even pressure down on the back and twist. I lift this up and so as I get a nice clean cut, I'm just going to press all the way around the back edge. And then again with the centre, I just run my finger straight around the back to give a nice clean cut and take that part out. On the back there's three holes and these are air holes and what they'll do is if you give them a tap on the back, they will help the centre part to release, like so. Little bit of corn flour underneath and when I say little bit, it's a tiny sprinkle and we just rub it into the worktop and this is purely to stop the frills sticking as we go around them. The bulbous cone tool. <clears throat> now the whole way you hold this tool is really, really important. We want to have this, the end of this tool in the centre of your right hand, left hand if you're left handed, and we close our fingers around it. Now this hand is purely going to turn this tool. There should be no pressure coming from your index finger on your right hand at all. There should be no white fingertip on your nail. The pressure is going to come from the two fingers on your left hand. We position this tool so as it's around about halfway in, and that's halfway from the lowest point to the inside edge. And we're going to start in the centre, and we're going to make sure that we keep these petals really separated. We're not going to come over these lines. We start in the centre, we apply pressure, and we come back to the edge and to the middle. We come away. We come over to the edge, the far edge, the right hand side, we come backwards, we go forwards to the end. And you can see now that we've got this really deep, thin ruffle. We repeat this motion all the way round, making sure that you're not going over those separation lines. We really want to see the definition of each petal. And we continually work all the way through. It's really important that you keep the depth of these frills exactly the same. So there's no deterioration of the line of the thickness around the edge. The back frill is the one that stretches it. The forward frill is the one that lifts it. So you really need to make sure that you're applying the right amount of pressure. Not enough pressure and your frills won't lift. Too much pressure and you'll flatten them and probably tear straight through your fondant. You can see that the pressure is coming purely from these two fingertips here and the pressure is being applied directly to the bulb. If you start to apply a pressure to the length of the tip, then what you will do is eventually you will weaken the head of the bulbous cone tool and it will snap off. Keep moving your fondant disc around as you come around. Don't try and chase it around the table. You will have a little bit of slipping, 
but you should be using the end of this tip to pincer your fondant in place. So now we've got our entire disc that's frilled. You can see all the way around the edge how thin this is. I'm going to use my pizza wheel now to cut this into an open line. I open it up and you can see the frills start to become thicker. I'm going to take off half of this thick edge and take it away, we don't need that part. Now I'm going to use my water pen. Now you can use edible glue, a water pen will work for this just as well. Uh, we don't want to over wet, we just need a single strip of water down this ruffle rose. Too much water and it will start to slip. We always start from the left hand end and we always roll in on ourselves. So we open up this first petal bud and we roll it between thumb and forefinger to create the centre of our rose. Now this part is the most pivotal part to creating the perfect rose. We then, using this, thing, this centre finger underneath it as a support system, we start to wrap the length around itself. I'm not pinching, I'm not squeezing, I'm just tacking it to itself. And you can see it will start to build up. Really important, if you start to squeeze and pinch, you will find that your rose will start to lift up from the centre. When your rose is complete, the base of it should look like this. Initially, you'll have knobbly bits that come down or go up. Don't worry too much. And if you're not happy with the way it's rolled, you can simply open it up because we've used water and you can re-roll it to get the perfect adjustment. Once this is complete, we can just pop him on a drying pad and open up the petal full. You can use your fingertips. You can go in with a tool and you can just open them up so you can see these petals unfurling. And that's it.